Zach Jacobs and Mamadi Diakite for the opening tap. Ball in the hands of Nate Farrell, and up we go. Thomas Woldetensa, the junior from Italy, the junior college transfer, a couple of days ago injured his foot. And Mamadi Diakite starting to score. Try to play fast and see if they can get Virginia to get out of their comfort zone. Pick and pop. Now Diakite, the flush. Get the three, then he puts it on the floor and puts himself in the highlights. Virginia with a 7-3 lead. Rose team is committed to bringing Virginia out of that pack line, seeing if they can spread the defense out a bit. Key on the offensive glass with the putback. Ron Sanchez, who was associate head coach at University of Virginia a few years back, is back as Key knocks down the three. Virginia goes to this big lineup. You put three, uh, Key at the three position. Clark turned it over and Lewis finishes. Nice play there by Lewis. Here's Banks. Another preseason all-conference pick and he gets the roll off the iron. The question becomes, will he continue to play? Moving forward. Another three for James Madison. This one from Matt Lewis who has an early eight. I, I'm not, I don't remember I us having thought that's why your eyes were closed yet. a little bit. <laughs> Another jumper for Diakite. You know, a lot of offense was lost with those four guys being out of the lineup this year. Man, how about Ooh. Matt Lewis? He's got 11, and that's his third three this half. More. Parker turned it over. Statman off to the races with the flush. Nice work by Banks and Jacobs in the pick and roll. First points for Jacobs, who's been coming on strong recently, going back to the preseason, had a career-high 15 in the opener. Can't stop Diakite there, who's into double figures with 10. Absolutely. I mean, of course, everyone in purple and gold wants to see Matt Lewis getting wide-open looks. Statman follows his own miss. Strong take. Diakite. You pointed to that spot on the floor when we talked about it at the top. Of course, he had 10 in the title game as well. Christmas gets the roll going at the six foot nine Diakite. Tell you what, Lewis Rowe does, he gives his guys a lot of freedom on those threes. Of course, when you first come in the game, it's probably not the best time for you to shoot the three. Clark, straight on. Take advantage of them. This league can stretch out big time because they're finding their way in that paint. Another beautiful dive, this time from Kihei to Mamadi for back-to-back -back dunks. Clark, a deep one. Huff the offensive rebound. And the putback. James Madison is Zach Jacobs, who's a generous 6'8". I'm not sure if he's that tall. And Jay Huff showing off that 7-1 frame on the defensive end of the floor as well. National champions, and he wants to be a part of that and be the guy that leads them to it. Banks with the shot clock winding down, a big three. Virginia led by as many as double figures in that first half. They also trailed at a time to James Madison briefly. Good start to the second half with Braxton Key on the scoop. Diakite at the four and Huff at the five. Cody Statman starting it off from beyond the arc, but once again, Kia Clark showing off his rebounding prowess. Back for Key. Got a three. Knocked down to three. Diakite is blocked by Zach Jacobs. Oh, Zach Jacobs with a little Let him hear about it. something to say about that afterwards. A nice smile. I love it from Zach. Now for Jacobs and company, the deficit at 15, two minutes into this second half. Jacobs can step out. He's been trying to extend that range, and he's got a three. Just has a nose for the basketball, knows how to be in the right place at the right time. Kihei Clark. Diakite, the follow. Make you have to work so hard defensively, so when you take quick shots, especially if they're not quality shots, like the one Jay Huff just got from Kihei Clark. And I like what's happening with Jay Huff. I think Jay Huff now starting to build more and more confidence as they go into him on the block, and this is an opportunity he's got to take advantage of, and he does. Good look, though. You like that look if you're Virginia. Clark tried to jump Matt Lewis, who is swatted by Diakite. 
talking about his shots in the first half. You want him just to come in and play basketball. Key poked it away. Braxton Key, the slant. But what I like most is when he's making shots, it opens up the interior for a guy like Key Clark to be able to get all the way to the rim. Zach Jacobs, a triple. On Wednesday night, but of course that was game one, and they've cleaned it up here today. Justin McCoy, the freshman from Cary, North Carolina, adds to the run. In that zone, making it difficult, and of course Jim Beheim's been doing it for 44 years. Nice follow by Jay Huff off the McCoy miss. But throughout the NCAA tournament. Yeah, he, he had a great tournament a year ago. And in one thing about Mamadi Diakite, he's the type of player who thrives on success. Gotten better and better, of course, since redshirting his first year here at University of Virginia. Jay Huff on the follow. Those banners being up in the JPJ. Here's McCoy with a baseline floater to Corey Alexander's liking. Steps in the game. Now, everyone knows that's why you heard the tremendous cheer. And of course, he is definitely going to come in being aggressive. Grant doesn't care. And now Coleman drives, trying to get in on the fun. And the follow is there for Jaden Nixon. Which is unbelievable when you consider the shot clock era and the way the game is played with freedom of movement. 80 minutes so far this season, 68 points allowed.